Good morning, everybody. My name is uh, Camilla Marangoni, and I work at Arte Generali as a head of digital and partnerships. Today, I want to talk um, with you about an essential topic that often happens to be under considered or um, not considered enough as, as essential uh, as it should be. Uh, and we're talking about the crisis communication and how to manage this kind of situations, emergency situations with not just the mass medias, of course the mass medias is uh, our essential stakeholder, but also with uh, the final public, right? So the, the, the even the citizens themselves. So let's jump into the uh, discussion. One aspect that, uh, as we said, is uh, usually uh, underestimated uh, and, and this consequently overlooked is understanding how it can be properly managed an emergency situation when it comes to um, communicating with the external world and making them aware of what has happened, explaining them what has happened, why it has happened, and which are the consequences of this emergency situation. The experience uh, shows that uh, a lot of uh, companies and organizations find themselves not prepared, not uh, uh, properly prepared to manage such, such situations. And this uh, usually leads to um, a higher uh, volume of uh, um, um, misunderstandings and uh, miscommunication that finally creates um, even more damage on the uh, reputation of the company and organization involved in the, in the emergency situation um, with the results, uh, the final results, that uh, uh, top management or even the uh, highest level of, of the hierarchy in the company needs to uh, um, sort of feel the, uh, the, the, the holes that have been created uh, uh, afterwards. But as we all know, and as it is uh, in any situation, it is always better to prevent and to be uh, ready to manage such, such situations than to have to, to deal with the consequences afterwards. And for this reason, of course, um, some simple rules and, uh, and, and basic knowledge of, uh, of communication strategies uh, comes into help uh, to uh, those companies and organizations that maybe they are not lucky enough to have a dedicated team that, that can manage su such situations. So let's uh, see some uh, uh, basic uh, uh, um, information uh, about uh, uh, how the, the world of the mass media, how the world of the media actually work. So we can expect that when um, an emergency situation uh, uh, happens, um, as soon as, as, as the information goes public, some kind of reaction will arrive from the media community. Um, this kind of uh, uh, reaction often uh, is uh, uh, the, the fact that journalists of a specific uh, um, media or, or uh, of a, a television uh, channel or even of a, a journal newspaper will be sent uh, to the place where the, the event has occurred. And uh, uh, these uh, journalists, these people, um, they will have some kind of expectations when then they will when they will arrive to the to the to the place where the event has occurred. And the, expe the expectations that they have is to be, of course, provided as fast as it, as possible as it can be. So even in the same moment when they will arrive to the um, to the event with as many as information as many as information as they need in order 
to provide uh, the public uh, with the right uh, explanation of the event. So this means that, uh, um, as it can be uh, obvious, but <laughs> we are saying this because many times, actually, even if it is obvious, it doesn't happen. Uh, actually, it does happen. So if this be, these professionals, they, they are there to do their, their job and they expect some kind, some kind of information to be provided them with, refusing to give them such information for sure is not going to help because what, what will happen uh, indeed is that as they somehow and it is their job to come back to the um, to the office with something uh, to, to to be written or to be published on on the on the channels they will somehow find the information in a different way so it will mean that instead of receiving those information in a control way by responsible person that has been identified by uh, a press officer by anyone that is part of the company and that should be hypothetically aware of what they want to share or what they don't want to share um, the information that will be then public uh, published and, and 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 public with the, and shared with the rest of the of the community will be uncontrolled and of course, we can all clearly understand uh, the, the, the possible and potential damage that this might create uh, to the reputation of the company. So it's of essential uh, importance to always take into mind that avoiding to provide information or refusing to answer uh, basic questions of course, we can always open the topic that there are questions that journalists ask and that you might have the right to decide to not to answer. But when it comes to questions that, uh, that uh, address the, for example, the, um, uh, I would say, the basic uh, uh, explanations of what has happened uh, in the specific event, what are the main consequences of this event, and what is a hypothetical uh, timeline that you would expect for the event to cease uh, or for the event to be, um, I would say, managed and, and completely uh, uh, seized, is what is a, you should be able to provide the journalists with. So um, having someone that is ready as soon as the event uh, has occurred or just right after with a checklist, uh, very simple, uh, explaining and providing this, this, this information to the journalists is of essential importance. So this makes really the difference when it comes to reacting to a crisis uh, uh, communication. So um, who needs to speak? In, in, in with the mass media or with the journalists. Uh, it, it really depends. Of course, in the, in the real, in the ideal world, um, it will be the best option to have someone who is specifically uh, dedicated to managing this kind of situations. So that is uh, what we, we know as the press officer, right? So it's a person that is uh, uh, well-trained, knows, um, uh, the journalist even uh, uh, personally that uh, uh, has the, uh, the know-how of uh, how to manage uh, uh, specific crisis communication. And there are companies, uh, especially, of course, the big ones that are, uh, uh, um, uh, that are provided with such a, a professional and, uh, and with a specific team. But what about those companies or organizations that, especially when it comes to the cultural world, um, do not have the, <laughs> the enough budget or even the, the size to justify the investment uh, in, in having uh, such a, a specific uh, professional. What, what shall uh, these companies, organizations do? Well, 
what is important uh, at the end uh, for the journalist is to have uh, a person to speak with that should have uh, uh, a basic uh, level of credibility and authority. This doesn't mean when we talk about credibility that we necessarily have uh, uh, to identify or to choose someone from a high level of the organization, uh, uh, top management necessarily. It could also be um, the assistant of, uh, of the CEO, the assistant of the director, but the, journali the journalist needs to have the um, perception that this person uh, has been appointed specifically for this uh, task and is aware of what has happened and has the ability to answer to a minimum level, a minimum number of questions that she or he will uh, uh, receive. So uh, first thing, as we said, identify one person within your organization that you know will be the person that you will go to uh, and that you will involve if a crisis or an event, an emergency event will happen. So this is the first uh, uh, basic uh, thing to, to take into consideration. Um, when it comes to uh, um, things or tips that, uh, uh, a, as we say, the PR officer, but we already specified that this PR officer not necessarily <laughs> is uh, the, the person that has been uh, um, uh, trained for, for, for being a PR officer, might be that he's also or she's also doing another job, but when these kind of situations happen in the organization, everyone knows that that will be the person that will be uh, managing the relationship with the media. So um, we already spoke about how much is important, uh, how much is essential, the promptiness, the uh, um, uh, the, the ability to provide uh, information uh, in a clear and concise way immediately and as fast as, as possible um, in order to avoid that journalists will go somewhere else to collect this information um, because they need it, as we said, uh, because that's their job and they, they have the expectation to manage from their side. And uh, so it's essential, it's super important to be able to provide at least some kind of information when it is required, um, just right after the event has happened. And uh, of course, it's also uh, important how much clear this kind of uh, communication will be given. So let's try, for example, to avoid specific term, terms and technical words that might uh, create confusion or that might be misunderstood or might be um, not well uh, understood by by the uh, by the medias and even uh, finally by the public so the the tips here is to be as much as clear and concise as you can be without giving additional information if they are not needed um, of course Another point is also the fact that somehow the person that speaks needs to be um, uh, perceived as credible. Um, and uh, it's important to this point because we, the, the journalist needs to believe in the information that is uh, given to them. Otherwise, again, what it will happen is that they won't consider uh, your words and they will do that uh, by themselves. One point that is, uh, seems obvious, but it, it is not, because it happens many times that, uh, uh, and in the past there are many examples in this case, that uh, shows how much uh, uh, companies and organizations prefer somehow to hide information or to give uh, half truthful uh, um, information regarding the nature of the event or the cause of the events or the consequences. The topic is that uh, uh, most of the times <laughs> the journalists and the, and the medias will find out what it has happened actually to, during the, that event. And the, 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 the problem will be that uh, 
a even bigger problem will be that you will lose credibility in front of your community because you 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 they will know that you haven't shared uh, truth information so it's always better to try to even if it's not uh, uh, let's say um, easy or even if it is something that uh, um, might cause uh, harm to the company try to uh, do an analysis of what might be the consequences or the highest uh, uh, risk uh, in uh, not sharing what it has actually sh uh, happened during the event and what it might happen in case it comes out the, the truth. So try to avoid uh, um, to share half information or not clear information and do the analysis as much as, uh, as you can on uh, on this uh, on this point um of course i mean uh, we always uh, when we talk about uh, the relationship with uh, external stakeholder external actors we do not have just the media community but we have also the, the general public and uh, um, let's not forget uh, uh, of course that uh, specific activities like uh, uh, museums uh, like uh, foundations like this cultural world they have a, a, a strong relationship uh, with the with the public with the citizens with the um, with the communities because they are uh, uh, they are felt as part of the daily life of these people right so when something happens to these uh, uh, organizations, uh, the public is uh, the, the, the interest of the public to understand what it has actually happened or to better uh, um, uh, get uh, the, the, the explanation of, uh, of the cause of these events and understanding. It, it, is, it is high, right? So they, 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 they are. Uh, generally interested uh, uh, in understanding better uh, what is an it has happened um, during such an event. So the expectations will be high. And that's also why the, the communication needs to be managed properly with uh, a, a minimum level of service to such uh, communities. Um, and here we have a clear example, uh, a simple example of uh, what should be avoided, such as, for example, a, a sign like the one that we see here, where we say close to the public. Uh, but why? What is that? What it has happened? Why the, the, the museum is closed? The, 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 you, you won't uh, have a, a good reaction from your community if you will manage a situation, uh, a, a, an event like, like, like in this case. So um, the rules that we have uh, shared before when it comes to the type of information and the way uh, in which such information should be shared, they apply uh, also when it comes to dealing with the, with the public. Um, one difference is, of course, that uh, managing the relationship with the uh, um, with the public might be uh, not easier, but uh, manageable in, sense of, in the sense of the availability, because when it comes to uh, dealing with uh, uh, the journalists, you need uh, to be available as soon as the, the request is sent, and you can uh, direct or you can instead manage with your own time the communication with the public of course uh, this uh, uh, there is an exception when it comes to the world of the social media because we need to take into consideration that today uh, there is a 24 <laughs> per 7 uh, ongoing communication and uh, and uh, an exchange between uh, people on the social media but for this uh, we might need uh, a specific focus to understand how to um, manage uh, communication on the social uh, on your social media um, and it will need a separated uh, focus uh, um, to be done 
So um, let's let's move to uh, the conclusions that I, I say are uh, um, a, 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 a concise, uh, uh, are uh, quite clear in the sense of the message that uh, that I wanted to share with you today. That is uh, uh, um, being uh, uh, in this kind of situations, being ready to manage uh, the consequences in terms of communication of a crisis event is essential. And uh, it is not needed uh, a, a lot of time uh, to prepare yourself uh, with having a clear um, uh, a identified person to know that you will uh, involve her uh, or him if something like a crisis happens. To have a um, prepared a press release or some kind of document documentation that you know you can always use in such events and make sure to review the, the content and the information that you share with as much as the uh, um, promptness as, as you can do. So these uh, are the information that I wanted to share with you today. I thank you for the attention and I wish you a great uh, day to all of you.